This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday the 20th of July. I'm James Spann. Pretty active convective day coming up today. Let's get in there and take a look. We'll start with some of the sky cam shots around the network early this morning. At the insane hour of 5 o'clock, we'll start with the Huntsville Sky Cam. That is Memorial Parkway. Big storms are nearby. we got a convective uh, complex up there in the Tennessee Valley. Down this way, it's quiet. That's the Tuscaloosa Sky Cam looking north from the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. And we'll go way down south at our Mobile Sky Cam overlooking Interstate 10 in downtown Mobile. All right, there's the deal. we got the heat bubble across the nation's heartland. Upper trough in the Pacific Northwest, a trough over the east, and an MCS, Mesoscale Convective Complex, moving down ahead of that surface boundary into extreme north Alabama. That's the way the radar looked at 501 this morning. At that point, the heavier storms were over Jackson County and also on the Tennessee River northwest of Decatur. And what's going to happen, you know, those storms should weaken and there will be an outflow boundary below that. And that boundary should serve as the focus of the storms this afternoon and tonight. And that boundary probably will be somewhere down around Interstate 59. So later today, the better chance of any active or severe storms probably from I-59 south. North and west of here, heat problems. Hey, this is the middle of summer, you know. Excessive heat warnings for places like Memphis and Kansas City. Heat advisories all the way from Tupelo up into the Black Hills of South Dakota. All right, severe weather potential. The standard slight risk. For about the northern two-thirds of Alabama and much of Mississippi. And uh, that is for later today and tonight. And there is still that 30% enhancement. Uh, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, back down to Jackson. And uh, the, again, that's going to be along and south of that uh, boundary from the morning convection. And, and understand, tornadoes won't be a problem today. This is summer. The wind fields aloft are light and variable. The issue will be from hail and strong Gusty, maybe damaging straight line winds in spots. We'll watch the radar carefully. Tomorrow, we've got low end 5% severe weather possibilities over much of Alabama. The front stalls out north of here. And the good news, rain numbers are still looking pretty good. This is valid through Tuesday evening of next week. This is suggesting rains of about 2 inches for about the uh, southern 3 quarters of Alabama. But uh, we do think the uh, weather will be drier next week, uh, generally speaking, and hotter as well, as you'll see. Tropic, same deal, just quiet as a mouse. We'll check the GFS. This is the OZ run, valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon. 594, scorching heat. Texas up into parts of the high plains down below that. A surface boundary, and uh, models have not handled the convective stuff very well. They rarely do in summer. This has a MCS on the Gulf Coast at midday today. Um uh, and again, it is complex, no doubt about that, but we expect new storms to form this afternoon below the outflow boundary, again, from Interstate 59 South. Tomorrow, the front goes nowhere. Heights are rising a little bit, so temperatures will likely heat up to some degree with uh, uh, readings expected to be up in the low 90s. Same thing on Sunday. You can see how the showers are thinning out. Go to Monday of next week. Yeah, the heights are coming up at 594. Circles are encroaching from all directions, and down below that, Looks like any showers on Monday should be fairly widely spaced with uh, low 90s, and we should be in the mid-90s uh, by the middle of next week. There's Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, and every day, yes, there's the chance of a few widely scattered storms, but not as many as this week. There's Thursday, and a week from today, ooh, ooh, that 594 ring is almost on us now. That means it could be hot. That could be mid to upper 90s, but hey, we're thankful for this good soil moisture we've been getting. That'll help uh, keep the heat from getting out of hand. Uh, down below that, again, the chance of a storm in spots. But uh, the storms next week should be much more widely scattered. We'll check the end of the forecast August 4th. And for us, that looks good. We've got the heat bubble to the west, troughing over the east. And down below that, uh, look at that nice cool air coming down across the Great Lakes, if this is right. But that would suggest scattered to maybe numerous showers and storms, if that's right. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 3.30 or so today. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.